Thank you, Ken Carla Taoiseach. Yesterday, uh, an INMO protest at Sligo University Hospital was averted at the last minute because there will be an emergency meeting of the WRC and an independent assessment of staffing requirements. We should never have allowed the situation to fester to get to this point. Today's trolley watch figures show a total of 25 patients waiting for a bed at Sligo University Hospital, the third highest in the country, just behind Limerick and Letterkenny. The North West is coming out on top here. And this is a pattern, it's not just today's figures. There's also a major issue at Sligo around the employment of agency staff. I've received many emails from this about staff at the hospital who say that as permanent staff, they have to work around the availability of agency staff. Surely it should be the other way around, or at least some parity of esteem. Taoiseach, I'm asking for immediate action to be up, taken Deputy. on Thank us you. waiting Taoiseach. for beds. And an up, Thank Taoiseach. you. Thank you. Well, just overall, in terms of uh, allocation of resources, recruitment, um, there's been very extended provision in terms of financial provision, both last year uh, and this year in terms of resources to the acute hospital service. There has been increased capacity provided uh, across the length and breadth of the country. I don't have the specifics in terms of uh, Sligo Hospital. There's over four, four and a half thousand, close to four and a half thousand people recruited last year, or this year, this year sorry, in the HSC, over 6,000 in 2020. Between the two years, about 11,000 have been recruited uh, and significant number of additional nursing staff and medical staff um, in, within those um, figures. But I will uh, ask the HSE to focus in specifically on Sligo and, and see what further help and how we can alleviate Thank pressure you, there in the next Deputy while. Joe